warm welcome from Polygon Division, and this is Quick Tips. Today we're going to be making a parametric object polygon selection texture mask with Redshift. Yes, you heard that right. Make a polygon selection on a parametric object and use it as a mask. With a Redshift material, yes it's possible, and I'm going to show you how right now. So I want to quickly just give you an overview of a situation where I would use this function. And right here we have a blocked out scene for some kind of sports network broadcast promo graphics. And it's roughed in, there's no details in this. It's in the blocking phase and I wanna be able to show the client some light, loose texturing. Client comes back at you and says, can you make these steps wider or taller? Well, if this was not a parametric object, I'd have to make the reselection of the edges and so on. So just to prove this to you that it's a parametric object, I'll go here and I can change the width of this and you can see this step is a parametric object. So let's see how this works inside of a simpler scene. So here's a basic scene with some polygons and you can see we've got a parametric object, this sphere. And if I go to the face selection mode and I do a keyboard shortcut UL for the loop tool, you can see I cannot select these polygons. Well, there's a tool that'll allow us to do that and make those selections. So I'll go ahead and do that by going to my deformers here. And you'll see right here at the top in the five down, you've got the correction deformer. And if I hold shift with the sphere selected, it'll add it into the group. So now you can see I can make a polygon selection. So I'll go to my profile view and select these two middle ones and then right click on the texture I want to add. But before I do that, I want to have this as my base, this galvanized metal. And then I want to add on top of it, this masked material, which is this one called light. And it's this blue color. It apply. And if this was a polygon object, it would have just applied it and we would have been good. But there's one last little step you need to do. And that is we need to take and remove these polygon selections and the texture onto the main parametric object. So all we need to do is take this texture and drag it up to the root and drag the selection to the root. And there we go. Now I want to show you one problem that you might have if you wanted to do another selection. So I'll do the top here, make sure the correction deformer is selected to make the selections and I'll select here and then do UF for fill, hold shift. So now I've selected this cap and I'll go ahead and apply this lighter one up at the top. If I drag it over, you can see it's not working. It's selected down here. So what's happening here? Here is because we move these first two off, it's using the same texture tag name. So you can see this one's one and this one's one. So if I go to this one and I just give it a number two and then go to the texture and drag the new selection tag name in and drag it over. There we go. Now we have both. And to prove this, I can show you in the Redshift IPR. There we go. So there's the texture tag selection applied to the material and masking. One last thing I wanted to mention is that once you apply these two textures or a texture using this method, Method, you cannot change the parametric objects properties with regard to segments. So anytime you see segments being adjusted, it will break. You can see it messes up. So if you do have a change, like it requires you to make these changes, you just need to drag them back and update your selections. That's it. Hope you found it useful. Thanks so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more content. Thanks for your support.